Hello and welcome to a My Mini Maths video tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at multiplying a two digit number by a decimal. This video can also be used uh, as help and support for the arithmetic target question number 28 also. So there's a few options to look at here. First of all, if we're looking at a multiple of 10 multiply a decimal, say for example, we could take 30, there's our multiple of 10 multiplied by 1.4. Now the first thing to do here is to break to break up the 30 into 3 times 10 and then times by 1.4 and this is the first part of the calculation and what that brings us multiply by 10 means we move one space bigger so it becomes 14 and then it opens up the rest of the calculation Okay, so we have the 3 times the 14, which is 42. So, yeah, the priority is to remove that decimal. So once you multiply it by 10, then you remove the decimal, and then you can just, you've got a straightforward mental maths calculation. Okay, the next option is looking at a two-digit times a decimal. So let's have a look. We've got 2.3 times 12. Or 12 times 2.3, obviously the order doesn't matter. So there's two ways of looking at this. The first option, so if I flip around the calculation, I can, what we call partition, I can break the value up. So let's have a look. If I take the 10, okay, I can multiply that by 2.3 and that again removes that decimal so one space bigger becomes 23 okay and then I can calculate with the 2 times 2.3 which is 4.6 if you have decimals like this it's always handy to think of money £2.30 doubled is £4.60 and then we simply add our two values together okay so 23 add 4 is 27 so for a final answer of 27.6 the second option available to us for this calculation is to is to look at a standard long multiplication so first thing to do is to remove the decimal point okay which is 23 times by 12 calculate so we've got our units first 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 20 is 40. Then we're going to multiply by the tens column. So we're going to take the zero from the 10 and make it our magic zero down here. One lot of three, first of all, and then one lot of two, and then we add the two rows together. So 6 and 0, 40 and 30, and 200 by itself. And because we multiplied this by 10 to remove our decimal point we need to put the decimal point back in so we divide by 10 to put it back to its correct size and there's a couple of options here if you look in the original question we've got one decimal place and we have one in the answer that's a good way of checking that we have the right size answer also as an estimation Estimating 2 times 12 is 24 and our answer is 27.6 so we know that we have the right size answer for the calculation. Now just be careful with this because some children forget to put the decimal point back in and that's why the partitioning option can sometimes be easier but again everybody has a different preference so I'll leave it up to you. And our last variety of question comes down to missing values. So Something times 1.6 gives us 48. Okay, so like with the previous questions, we're looking at a value here. Okay, multiplied by 1.6 equals 48. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply that 1.6 by 10, which gives us 16. Okay, now... How many 16s do we need to make 48? Well, that's going to be 3. So, 10 times 3 is 30, and there's our missing multiple of 10. 
that's everything for today thank you very much please subscribe to the my mini master video tutorial youtube channel for all the latest videos news and updates and i look forward to speaking to you again soon take care